Booyah, yes, what's good everybody, ain't nobody down round here, you know what time it is, get that badger, in and on and over here, he's in, he's on, he's over, he's here, he's not down, he's up, he's in, he's on, he's over, he's here. Couple of quick shout outs to do to my members, much appreciated, they think it's one that in a month or something like that, much appreciated, so shout out to the disabled team and Pat Dunn. You're both long-term members, I truly appreciate it. Shout out to the disabled team and Pat Dunn. So then, here we go. Quick ship vid. All the mourners got what they wanted for me on Saturday. I've not weighed in yet. It's obviously Monday. I've waited, bided my time a little bit. Didn't want to come in with the video because I couldn't be bothered with all the negativity. I had to stay off Twitter for a couple of days. Just sort of like jumped on, maybe sent a couple of tweets. And then I was out of there. Follow me on Twitter, Jack City Music. Let's keep it light. Let's keep it happy. Everybody got what they wanted. All the mourners. Gray went into midfield. Uh, we still couldn't create a single chance. I felt like it's not Gray's fault that, but you know it's just the way we play. I think we're struggling to break these team down, these types of teams down. Everybody goes on about the low block and all this stuff. I think that's just obvious. I think we move the ball left to right, left to right, which is fine. I don't sort of mind that. You know that's it's a very good way of killing games. And if we score early on, the early goals have clearly been helping us dramatically. I just wonder whether the more predictable we come we become, the more the boys are slightly worried about losing the ball or being aggressive with runs into the box or overlaps or I just sometimes feel as though nobody actually wants to play that slightly more difficult ball like the forward ball so we end up going all the way out to left, give it to Somerville, he tries to cut in then it goes back round, all the way back round. It's not necessarily a thought for a while, it was the speed of how we're doing that, I don't necessarily even think it's the quickness of the deliveries, you know. I do think Bamford adds a lot more when he came on he offers a much more different role, he's much more of a target man, causes a lot more problems, occupies both centre-backs. We actually are able to sort of whip a ball in at that point. I thought James were really good when he came off, uh, came on because uh, he's just so rapid isn't he, when teams are tiring a little bit. Uh, a lot of people going on about when Nonso came off, but I honestly think it's just a minutes thing. He was obviously he was coming back from injury and if he pulls some in this running towards the end of the season, Farky really will get it, won't he? Um, I thought Roberts looked a little bit leggy, but again, it's a similar thing, you know, just sort of getting minutes in. Somerville got a lot of stick. He definitely didn't have the best of games. Um, I thought he looked a bit laxadaisical in some of his passes in, like, really poor areas as well. I remember him breaking um, with a chance with Meslier. Silent S had a good save in the first half. A lot of angry mad gavs going on about, he's fucking shit, but then totally ignore the fact that he does keep us in the game at the uh, at, in the in first half with that mint save. Um, I actually felt we had a couple of warnings. I was in the cop, so it's kind of, I can't see for shit anyway, but because my eyes are so bad. But you know, there's a, there were a couple of warnings going down the other end, um, and then we seemed to burst into life. That seemed to really g everybody up. I thought the crowd were brilliant. To be fair, on Saturday for large parts of the game, it got a bit raggy towards end, but it wasn't as restless as it was the pre the pri the previous game at Ellen Road. I thought everybody got sort of on board um, all the way throughout, really, up until towards the end, which is natural. Um, but yeah, I thought Gray fell to sleep for the goal a little bit. He sort of looks like he's going to go, and then he sort of leaves his man and he just bursts through. That guy's obviously been prolific at doing that, hasn't he? Um, it's one of them. I think if we win every game now to end at season, I still think we've got a solid chance of going up. I still think we go up if we get nine points. Obviously, Ipswich drawing helps. Leicester losing obviously helps. But it's up to us now. I've, I'm no longer am I looking at anybody else's results. Obviously, Ipswich will have plenty of games to play before we um, finish at, in Southampton. So we'll sort of know where we are on that front. It could be tied up. My brother thinks that seven points will do us. I don't think that's a bad shout. Uh, I think it's good that we have some time to let, or, or Farker has a good bit of time to sort of settle the team down a bit and really get them going um, and just and just calm it down. When we were winning lots of games and we were on that 15 winning game run or unbeaten, whatever, you know, you want them games coming in consecutively, don't you? But, you know, I think it's not bad now to have a break and really get down, let's get down to business. Give you one more night, one more night, get it. 
Yeah, a million, million nights just like this. And that's why we all gotta get behind Leeds United. Twitter is a hellhole, hit it. So, been some awards. Uh, some of all got player at season. Gray got young player of the season and he got apprentice of the year. And Ampadu, Rutter and Somerville all made team at season. A couple of unfortunate people to miss out, like your Rodons. Um, you know, to be fair, that's probably it in terms of breaking into the team at season. Cause like we've had more patchy players, like James had brilliant patches, Nontos had brilliant patches, Rutter's been brilliant, I would say, he deserves his place. Again, with Rutter, I feel for him a little bit. He's really trying to change the game in the only way he knows how, which is getting on the ball, turning. I just feel like there's not a great deal going on in front. There's nobody really making any sort of strong runs from midfield. That's obviously why they moved Gray into midfield, but it didn't It didn't work, did it? People saying that shouldn't have brought Gruev off, which I think is a good shout, to be fair. I think he was sweeping up a lot. Furpo looked good going forward. I thought we were going to turn it round. Uh, not particularly when we went 1-0 down and the silence. A lot of talk that Black the Blackburn manager sort of knew um, what he was doing. We, we knew when the Leeds fans had turned. I'm not I'm not 100% certain on that. It's all decent in hindsight, isn't it? And then some proper quick shit value entertainment that we all live and live for. Long live the shit vids, as a couple of my commenters say, which is much appreciated. By a Leverkusen, who have won the Bundesliga last couple of days ago, or whatever, with Xavi Alonso, are reportedly in for Somerville. Now, all the Liverpool stuff and all this Chelsea stuff, all this crap that's going on about Somerville, I've not been on board with. But I do think the Bayer Leverkusen shout wouldn't be a bad move for him. That's the type of club where he would go into, probably would feature quite heavily. They are on the up. Alonso's proven himself to be a big manager, but they're not going to be able to attract massive names. That might not be a bad punt. But if we go up, I think we keep these players. We need to go up. I actually back us in the playoffs. I don't want the playoffs. What? You're fucking saying in playoffs? We've got an absolute horrendous record in playoffs. Like, whoa. Yes, but over 180 minutes, I can't see any of them teams beating us. There goes my, my lens flare glosser gone. But that'll stay down there for now. Um, I can't see anybody beating us over 180 minutes. Obviously, in the final, it's potluck. But we're here. We're going. We love it. We're all leads. Let's stick together. Let's get behind team. We want it more than the others. Boom. Surprises why I asked.